Hey, Mark Harrison here with a few notes on uh, the Turnigy 9X and upgrading that to a FreeSky module and uh, using those to set the failsafe on the on the RD pilot. So first off, uh, when you swap out the module, so here, here's the default module that uh, comes with the Turnigy and if you pop yours open you'll notice that there'll be a wire that runs from this hole down to that hole. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different videos on the web. Basically you just open up the case, unsolder that wire, and then you are not having to have the uh, the default uh, FlySky module. Uh, you can also put that back together so that you can use it with your with your receivers. I use it for like some of my small park flyers and it, it works great. But for but for RG Pilot stuff, I like uh, using uh, the free sky it's got a, a lot better range uh, it uh, it uh, resets and uh, and uh, connects almost instantly uh, you can get a nice uh, directional antenna that uh, increases uh, your range a bit but uh, basically one of the nice things about the 9x is it uses the JR style modules so you can just uh, stick it in and then you've got the module and you know whatever new uh, receivers you've got. Now this is the uh, the older free sky that doesn't have uh, the telemetry function and you can get the new I think if you get the newer one that'll have the telemetry function built in and uh, you'll the, the receiver will also be uh, telemetry ready. But that's not important. It'll it'll be the same uh, procedure for uh, for both uh, kinds of uh, receivers and the transmitters. Uh, now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do two things. First we're going to do the bind uh, because you do the bind and then immediately immediately upon finishing the bind then you do the fail safe setting. Now since this is going to be applying power to the copter notice one, two, three, four disconnected motors and we're going to do the bind procedure first and we do that by holding down the bind button and powering on the receiver and when we let go you'll see a fast blink there now we're going to come over and just use uh, use the USB and now we see that's connected and we just hold down the bind button and we saw the blink twice and that means it's connected. So we just power the receiver off and on and you'll see the solid light here that means it's connected. We'll come over here run the APM planner We'll connect via USB. And if we go into the configuration menu, we should see on the radio calibration, there's uh, the right stick and there's the left stick and importantly for us I've got uh, the modes set onto this uh, switch so it goes low, up, 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 up and uh, I'll make another video about this there's a couple of people that have made some pretty good ones but uh, maybe I'll make one myself and now we're going to go into the flight modes and I've got the flight mode set. It's a little bit easier for the RG Pilot. Uh, uh, I mean, on the uh, on the. Well, never mind. Anyways, it's not too difficult. You you pick out uh, these modes. I've got it so that when you first turn it on, it's in stabilize. Then it goes to altitude hold. Then to loiter. And then if you switch it the other way, it'll go into land mode return to launch and auto mode and for planes 
I like uh, to set uh, I like to set the fail safe for return to launch because it might be flying away from you and if it goes out of radio distance it's nice if it turns around and uh, it comes back to you where we fly the quads and stuff there's no real practical reason that it would go you know, out of radio distance and it would be some you know some kind of odd thing maybe maybe we lose power on the receiver or something like that and both Andreas and I like in that case just to set the quad down so it's not flying back to us where we don't have any way of controlling it so we just like to set it on land mode so you can see there it's set to land and now to set the fail safe is really really simple you just set the sticks however you like it and in this case we don't care because we're going into land mode but we just make sure that the setting is there which corresponds to this back and this up and then all we have to do is the second time we'll press the button and you see the little double green flash on the light and that indicates that the fail safe is set so now we'll just set this into default mode we're flying along in stabilized mode and if we lose power now it'll go to land mode if it restores power it'll be back under control and you'll see how fast uh, that uh, connected that's one of the things that really impressed us with the uh, with the free sky now if we go over to radio calibration you'll see we're up here see there's the uh, there's the channel 5 when it loses power it goes down to that setting which corresponds to the land mode and when it re regains power it'll come back over to here so that's pretty much it that's this it's pretty uh, straightforward to set uh, set the uh, fail safe on the free sky and uh, both Andreas and I have been really pleased with how well uh, the free sky has worked. You know, the patch antenna is great for uh, for for distance, and it's a pretty good upgrade. You, know, you you can buy the module plus a receiver, and it's probably not more than thirty thirty some dollars, and a little bit better than what uh, the default uh, fly sky module that that comes with.